welcome back to Sid Circle, or welcome if this is your first time. If this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll give you a moment. All right, you done? Cool. So, if you don't know who I am, I'm Sydney. I'm 20 and I'm from Texas, and this is my little circle of friends here. Before I begin, let me just say I apologize for this very boring background that I have had. I'm in the middle of redecorating my room. Until that is done, this is going to be my filming space. Just get used to it, love. And that's that on that. Cool? Cool. So, let's get into it. So you're probably wondering, whoa, your hair looks different from the first video. What happened? Nothing happened. I was wearing a wig, love. But I decided I was going to flaunt the fro. This is my hair that has that is growing out of my head. Let's do a 360 real quick. <laughs> this is my hair that I grew all by myself. I have been natural for about five years roughly. This is all the growth from that five years. Because you're probably thinking, oh, well, if you've been natural for about five years, you've done it all, right? If you're not thinking that, then you are now. Um, and the answer is no. I actually haven't done it all. There's one thing that I have always wanted to do and I haven't done it because I was too scared. But I'm gonna get over that fear. I was scared to do Bantu knots. If you don't know what those are, here are some images. Bantu knots, they um, are a low manipulation style to help define the curls. It's just a little look and once you take it down, the curls are like super loose and defined and really cute. And I really wanna try it, okay? And I thought, what better time to do it than now since I'm gonna be stuck in the house and if it does mess up, then nobody is going to see it in real life, including y'all watching this. You're seeing it through your phone, love. But if this does go up, then that means that this worked out. So spoiler alert, if you're watching this right now, that means it ends up looking good at the end. So stay till the end. I'm just gonna get right into it. I uh, started looking at tutorials, trying to figure out how on earth I'm going to do this. But I watched a couple and I think I'm ready. I think I am ready. All right, so we're gonna take the hair down now. Fair warning, it might be a little bit of a disaster, but she's a cute disaster and we appreciate her, okay? This is it, baby! This is my hair. It's pretty huge. I've been told that my whole life and never really took it as a compliment until recently. <laughs> like, I would be at hair salons growing up and all the women would be like, oh, baby girl, your hair's so long, your hair's so big, you got a lot of hair, girl. And I'd be like, thank you. I didn't know it was a compliment, but now I, <laughs> now I understand. I do like having big hair, love. All right, so let's just get into the sectioning, babes. Let's go. Hello. So originally this was just going to be some fast clips of me parting my hair with some music behind. Ooh, girl, look at that knot. But yeah, anyway, so I thought that that was kind of boring. So y'all are going to hear my voice every now and then. Yup. Being natural is such a blessing and a curse, bro. I am praying, hoping and praying that I have parted this in the best possible way. Most people use clips for this, but I'm built different. I be using scrunchies, look at that. Yes, girl, we see you, we see each other. Anyways, I realize that this is starting to look like a tutorial, and this is by no means a tutorial, okay? Do not follow what I am doing, I... I bet so many people who like know how to do Bantu knots are watching this and being like, girl, do you not know anything? And you're correct, I, I, I know nothing. And that's on having a big brain, but sometimes doing small brain activities. Anyways, oh, look at that. We got some stray hair. I be shedding like a dog. So yeah, it took me about four tries to get this first Bantu knot done. And this is the fourth take and you're about to see how happy I was and I finally got it. Oh! Ooh, look at that. Look, look at the material. Okay, okay, now that I know this method works, we're gonna keep going. Look at her go, I'm so proud of her. Anyways, yeah, I just kept spritzing my hair with water and just rubbing my hands through it and brushing it out. You know, that's just the method, baby. Look at all this hair. And we're twisting and we're twisting and making all those bantu knots. Look at me go. Look at how long that is. I've got inches, honey. Wow, my hair has grown so much. But hey, also, if your hair is short, 
that's okay too. I think that the black community has a terrible problem and obsession with hair length. Any length is beautiful and all black hair is good hair and that's that on that. That's my little PSA for the world. And that's on black is beautiful love. So it was at this point that I realized, you know, I've done a couple knots and filming me doing the rest of my head would be kind of pointless because this isn't a tutorial. So yeah, I finished up that knot, took a step back, drank some water, realized the camera was falling and then I fixed it. Then I realized I should do a TikTok transition. So I did and oh, look at that, but it's only half my head. Let's do one more transition. And oh, I'm done. I am done. I, that took me about 30 minutes. You know, honestly, this is like low key a look. If I had done them more centered in each section, this would honestly be a look. And now we gotta wait until tomorrow or however long this takes to dry to see what it looks like. So until then, oh, there's a smudge on the camera. Oh, don't worry. Let me let me fix it. Let me just. Uh... We are back, baby. It's a new day, it's a new nose ring, same Bantu knots. So before I begin taking these down, I just wanna complain for a second. Despite Bantu knots being, you know, a look, cause they are, they really are. And they're like beautiful and they have a history to them. They're amazing, we love that. They are the most impractical thing in the whole world. Listen, because we're st I'm stuck in the house, you know, we're in quarantine, there's a global pandemic going on. I be lounging a lot, you know? You cannot lounge with it. Do you see how like they're flatter because I laid down? It's just, it's not comfortable. My neck was hurting, you know, because of how, how I was positioned in my sleep with these things. Like it was just, if this ends up looking good, then maybe I'll continue to do this style. But good grief love, I was suffering. That being said, I am so excited to take these down and see what they look like. All right. Uh, while I was waiting for these to dry. We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. So while I was waiting for these to dry, I saw this TikTok that was reposted on Instagram of this girl who had done Bantu knots. I'm gonna put it in here. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please. Please. <gasps> oh my god! So yeah, when I saw that video, I was like, oh, like this girl is also doing Bantu knots. Wow. And they came out like bomb. But um, she also has a completely different hair type than me. So I, I'm not, I, I don't have high hopes for this right now, honey. <gasps> what is this? What is happening right now? We are just gonna keep it moving, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. This can't be real. This can't be real. Okay, this one looked decent. Wow, of course, it's all the way in the back. This just looks like a giant frizzy mess. And this is some of y'all's go-to hairstyle? This is your go-to? I hate that a select few of these turned out nice. Chief is calling. Oh, hello? Yeah, okay, yeah, I already knew that, but I'm gonna tell them anyways. Yeah, this ain't it, love. This isn't what I wanted. All that work, and it turned out looking like this. I've had better twist outs, braid outs, wash and goes, like this. I have never had a hairstyle end up as badly as this one did. I know me like running my hands through it and stuff is obviously messing it up, but it was already bad to begin with. Some of y'all who do not have black hair might think, what are you talking about? It's, it looks fine, it looks normal. You're not allowed to have a say in my hair, but I'm saying right now that this is not a good result. This is not what you want as your result, okay? But also, you know, I'm not blaming Bantu knots. I blame myself for even trying. You know, I said this video wouldn't go up if it didn't turn out well. I lied. I'm gonna put it up because this is honestly kind of funny. Let's do a quick 360. I'm gonna 
give Bantu knots a four out of 10 because obviously when they're styled properly, they're a look when they're up and when you take them out, they're a look. I can't even like try and fix this. Like, do you, what is this? What is that? Some of y'all might be cringing at the fact that I let it dry for two days. Y'all might think, oh, that's too short. Did you not hear what I said in the beginning? I like to lounge. My neck was hurting. I was suffering. I just failed. I, I think this was all my fault, truly. I really think it's just how I did it and the way my hair is. It looks like a frizzy mess. But if you're non-black, you can't agree with me. Legally, you're not allowed to agree with me, okay? Call it unfair. I don't care. Y'all can't relate. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing these again because I like to lounge too much and I need my comfort, okay? And twist outs and braid outs give me that comfort. But yeah, that's the video, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry I pranked you. I pranked you real good. Be sure to like and subscribe, join the circle, join my little circle of friends. Um, and I will catch you guys next video with a better hairstyle. I'll see you guys later. Bye!